Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're talking about a new amazing discovery made by NASA. This discovery actually is of a planet, but not just a planet, the eighth planet in that star system. And the discovery was made by artificial intelligence. That's right, today we're going to be talking about something amazing. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And the star we're talking about is known as Kepler 90. It's a star you may have heard of before because I did mention it on the channel a few times and it used to hold a record with TRAPPIST-1 for the only star out there that had not one, not two, not three, but seven planets. And guess what? We've just discovered one more. If I were to enable orbits here, you would see that this is quite a populated star system. And what's really interesting about this star is that it's actually not very far off from our own uh, sun. It's about 1.2 masses of the sun. It's about 1.2 radii of the sun. It's a little bit hotter, a little bit bigger, but it has a very similar structure to our solar system. So here we have a lot of terrestrial planets on the inside, a lot of gas giants on the outside, and possibly even more planets beyond that we haven't discovered. But there is a small concern here, and I guess a small difference between this and our sun. And the difference is that all of these planets are too close to the star. As a matter of fact, the farthest planet we found is about at a distance of Venus. Um, and so that means that uh, pretty much every planet here is going to be a little bit too hot. Now, in uh, Universe Sandbox, you'll notice that this one here, the uh, farthest planet, known as Kepler 90, H um, does seem to have a comfortable temperature of 23 degrees, but it's very unlikely in real life. As a matter of fact, we think that all of these are super hot. Uh, the hottest planet is obviously the closest, and it is the planet known as Kepler 90b, and it's about 750 degrees Celsius here. But we discovered yet another planet, the eighth planet, meaning that this now has as many planets as our own solar system. So we do have someone to compete with now. And obviously this is one more planet than TRAPPIST-1. The planet is known as Kepler-90i. Now, for obvious reasons, it hasn't been added to any simulations yet because the discovery was made just a few hours ago. So we're actually going to place a random rocky planet here and recreate this in Universe Sandbox. I'm gonna show you what the parameters are and we're gonna try to make it as realistic as possible. Now, as I'm talking about this though, I actually just wanted to uh, also explain how this was found because this is a new technique and absolutely incredible. But let's not rush into things. So first of all, this particular object orbits um, around its star relatively close as well. And the single year on this planet is about 14 days long. So we're going to go in here and change the orbital parameters, placing it slightly closer than it was before. We're also going to change its mass and its uh, radius because we are almost certain that um, its radius is approximately 1.34 um, masses um, of or radii of Earth and the mass is about 2.6 masses of Earth. So it is a little bit more massive and a little bit uh, more dense and also a little bit larger than Earth uh, and for obvious reasons also a little bit more hot. Assuming there is no atmosphere here, the um, temperature that it would get would be approximately, um, well, in this game it's 650, but it's, in reality it's probably closer to about 440 degrees Celsius, which is kind of similar to Venus, and that's without any atmosphere. If there is atmosphere, which is very, very likely, there's any atmosphere at all, the temperature here would skyrocket dramatically, making this a very bright looking almost like a lava planet. The temperature here now is about 900 degrees Celsius. So not a world that we expect to colonize or live on, but nevertheless, a very interesting world uh, to explore and just to kind of learn from. And now let's actually talk about why this discovery is amazing. Now, obviously eight planets is kind of cool, but it's really all about how this was discovered. So for years now, Kepler telescope has been observing transits of planets, as you see right now. So when a planet transits in front of a star, I can do better than that. 
it uh, basically dims the star a little bit. So right now, the luminosity of the star is a little bit lower than it was here. But because we're looking at this from a far, far away distance, specifically in this case, over 2,500 light years away, you really wouldn't see much. So if I were to run this again and remove everything here and just kind of look at it from here, you're not going to notice anything, right? But a computer might. And so this is exactly what we did. We actually missed this on the first trial. The first time we analyzed the data, we didn't see this planet. We found the, f the other seven, but this one was missing. And then uh, a scientist, and I believe it's actually a group of scientists from Google, but specifically here, the name that's mentioned in the paper is a person by the name of Christopher Chalou. And um, he actually developed a neural network that essentially analyzes huge data sets from Kepler and looks for these missing planets. In other words, he trained their artificial intelligence to go through billions and billions of gigabytes of data and look for these tiny dips of luminosity that we missed on the first try with our own human eyes. And guess what? Just like with everything else in 2017 where artificial intelligence pretty much kicked our butts in every game, every competition possible, it did so again. But this time it's actually something impressive and something very useful. In other words, this planet was discovered by AI. And this also creates an opportunity for Google to team up with NASA scientists and to find a lot more of these amazing planets. As a matter of fact, they already found another one um, in Kepler-80 system, Kepler-80G, but it's not as exciting as this. And so this is actually absolutely incredible. And this is probably an indication of where the science is headed. Essentially, most of the things will probably now be discovered by the AI, not by people. We just have to feed it the data and teach it what to do with it. And it will do it so much faster than any of us. And this also means that we might actually discover thousands and thousands of new planets next year. And that also means that I'll have to make a lot of new videos and most likely uh, possibly hire my own AI to make my own videos or make one. We might actually have a video series about how to make AIs because that's actually what I'm working on right now with some of my students. Well, anyway, exciting discovery, really cool planet, very, very awesome technique to find those planets. And now let's watch the system explode in a beautiful supernova. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you still haven't and share this video with someone who enjoys learning through video games and wants to explore more space sciences and other sciences uh, using various simulations. I'll see you tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye. And here it comes. It's very likely going to destroy this planet pretty quickly.